do letters of recommendation matter for, for grad school? I think the answer is yes. I, I think they do matter. I personally write a lot of letters of recommendation. So do they matter? I think they do. I think they do. I think, I think the whole package matters, right? Your, your grades, your GRE scores, your letters of recommendation, undergraduate research, if, if you have any. I think it all does matter to some extent. Um, so how much do they matter? Uh, I think no matter what, think about this. If someone says, yes, I will write you a letter, and it's for grad school, they are going to write you an awesome letter. Whenever I'm writing a letter for someone for like grad school or pharmacy school or med school or for like some really hard to get internship, I do my best. You know, I, I sit on the letter for a couple days. I don't just like change the name. I, I do a good job because this is a person's life. Maybe no one will read the letter. Maybe they'll get that letter and they'll, they'll just glance at it and they'll look at other stuff. But you never know, right? There might be that one person on the committee, on the graduate committee, who will sit there and read every single letter and think about what's being said and compare the letters. You never know because people are different and they're completely unpredictable. So you can never really tell what is the most important factor. So yes, yes, I think letters do matter. So how, how do you get letters? Well, you just go up to your teachers and you ask them. It's really, really important um, that when you ask for letters, you, you try to get them from teachers that you've taken advanced math classes with. So for example, if you're applying for you know, your PhD in math, a PhD program somewhere, you don't want to ask your statistics teacher for a letter of recommendation. No, no, no. Even if your statistics, even if your statistics teacher is awesome, don't, don't ask them, right? Ask uh, your professors in your higher level classes in which you got A's in. And ideally, you have some type of relationship with them. Ideally, they know who you are because you've asked questions in class. By the way, that's a really good way to get attention from your professors if you're trying to do that so they know who you are at least, is ask questions. People remember that. I remember the students that ask questions, whether they be A students, B students, C students, D students, F students. Those, in my view, I don't have favorite students, but I like those students. The students that ask questions, in my view, are awesome. I don't care how they did in my class, the fact they ask questions makes it really fun for me and so therefore I like them. <laughs> and so teachers remember that, right? Teachers remember people who ask questions. Oh, like, oh, can you explain that again? There's no such thing as a stupid question, right? Just, just ask. I love when people ask questions. So that's an easy way to get the attention of your professors so that when it comes time to ask for recommendations, they'll at least know who you are. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's Sarah. She was in my algebra class. Yeah, she was always asking questions and she did okay on the test and yeah, I'll write her a good letter. So they'll know who you are. Good luck.